Aaron Dingle, played by Danny Miller, is in a world of grief following the shock murder of his boyfriend, Ben Tucker on Emmerdale, 7 p.m., CRTV Guide for Listings. The two fellas had been planning to leave the village for a new life in Cornwall. But then, unknown to anyone else, Ben discovered video footage of murder Amina Jutler, Paige Sandhu, attempting to drown love rival Victoria Sugden, Isabel Hodgins, and she bumped off Ben to protect her killer secrets. Aaron is horrified by the news that Ben's death is being treated as a murder investigation. And just to make matters worse, Aaron's own sister, Liv Flaherty, Isabel Steele, was one of the last people to see Ben alive, after she got into a drunken scuffle with him at Hawksford Outdoor Pursuits. Aaron turned his back on Liv when she previously got derailed by alcohol. And now Shush is caught up in this tragedy after giving a statement to the police. Liv feels dreadful over the way she behaved towards Ben before his death. But it looks like her tears and remorse may be too little, too late for Aaron. On tonight's episode of the ITV soap, Aaron struggles to hold it together when he visits Liv before her court appearance. Liv is left reeling when Aaron tells her he doesn't have the strength to keep him supporting her anymore. Will this be Aaron's last goodbye to Liv? Meanwhile, it looks like it could all be over between Sam Dingle, James Hooton, and H.S. wife, Lydia, Karen Blick, following that massive Dingle family bust up. Lydia is in the bad books after telling the police about her disturbing encounter with a drunk and bleeding Liv outside the hop on the night Ben was murdered. Never go against the Dingle family code and drop another member of the family in it. As Sam's sibling Belle, Eden Taylor Draper, and family relative Vinny, Bradley Johnson, rally around him, Sam is distraught to think he may have lost Lydia for good. It's not a good day for Manpreet Sharma, Rebecca Sarkar. First, her estranged husband, Rishi Sharma, Bhaskar Patel, warns her he will be claiming spousal maintenance from her GP's salary to recover the money he previously lent her. Then she is alarmed when she finds out her younger sister, Mina has urged Ethan Anderson, Emil John, to drop any further contact with his birth mum, Esme, Eva Fontaine, who abandoned him when he was a child. Why is Mina playing games with Ethan's happiness? 